All right, all right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of the First Known RTG, the 6 p.m. content RTG, and the RTG where we have Infinity and One um, packs ready for the new Future Stars team. So 6 p.m. in a couple of seconds or in a minute or two is going to be uh, showing us a brand new squad that I hope has some cool players like this current team does. A lot of people weren't really happy with the latest or the new or the team one, whatever of future stars. I, I thought it was pretty good, but then again, I I'm not worrying too, too much about gameplay. I'm just consuming the menu content, trying to enjoy that where I can. And then, um, moving on from it. Right. But I, I have been seeing a lot of people saying that it, it isn't great. Kind of maybe people following the sentiment of what I said on Friday, where I think all the player choices are cool. But again, the bottom row of players are just nowhere near the meta. In nowhere near even the usable power curve. Forget the meta. If you play the meta, you're just ruining the game for yourself anyways. You should play how you enjoy to play FIFA. But um, the bottom guys just don't even get anywhere near the power curve. In fact, Pedro Porro and Damsgaard even barely fit into the power curve. Konate, Chomeni, Smithrow, Vlahovic, and Bellingham all are beasts. So that's fine. I just wish EA were a little bit more... Uh, what, do you, what, what would be the right word? A little bit more free with the uh, with the ratings on their uh, on their future stars players. But it is what it is. In terms of the grind, uh, we as mentioned have quite a few PPs. So fifty PPs. If we don't get anything good from the PPs, we'll be doing a mid or prime or mid icon roulette pack at the end of the EP two. But I'm hoping from 50, 80 plus player pick packs, we get one or two of the new future stars players and. Maybe I'll get lucky and there'll be a Leeds player in there as well. So let's see what the new content is. I actually like logging out and then seeing the team like this. So here's hoping that EA actually have the graphics ready to go within 30 seconds. Let's see. I Leeds, anywhere Leeds, anywhere Canada, anywhere Canada, anywhere Leeds. F! Look at Pedri. He's so nuts. Oh my God. Pedri looks incredible. Gravin, oh my god. Do you need Root Hullet anymore? Look at Gravin Batch. Florian Verts. Uh, Lacroix is ridiculous. Brian Gill, too. What a baller. Isn't Brian Gill on loan to Valencia? Or, uh, like, from Barcelona? I don't know about that. Anyways, Daka. Um, Adams. Leeds are trying to get... No, was the, were Leeds trying to get him? No, no, no. They're trying to get uh, the Juventus American kid. Anyways. Kakaret. All right. Uh, Raspadori, all right. Nunez, all right. Miranda, all right. Salisu, kind of cool. Ibanez, kind of cool. But again, what's this? Live FUT friendlies. We're introducing a new way to play FUT friendlies called Live Opponent. Live Opponent pairs two Live friendlies together so the players entering one type of Live FUT friendly match up against players in another compatible friendly. First instance of Live Opponent pairs two league themed life of friendlies together and can help you progress towards earning two different future star player items well now that's good don't get me wrong but do you think that's because nobody's really playing the game so they need to now start combining friendlies so people can find matches easier i don't know but i like it i like it i think it that's 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 definitely a benefit just like traditional life of friendlies live opponent matches can consist of special squad entry requirements uh and house rules they're available now okay and then what's this? Oh, Future Stars swaps are open. So 25 tokens for the Future Stars Team 1 player pick. That's the one that we're going for on the account. So that's cool. Um, let's, so we'll, we'll go look at the in games and stuff like that in a second. Let's see what the grindable player is, if there even is one. Or is it just Chaloba? Might just be Chaloba, which I think a lot of people would be disappointed about. Because everybody enjoyed the Chaloba grind. Is there a new one? Oh, there is a new one. Let's go. Oh, there's two, which are the ones that we saw. But I, for some reason, I thought they were in the team. Okay. So future stars, Chuck Wazy, right? I said his name perfectly. Thank you very much. Uh, complete full, uh, future stars and earn untradeable words. So score a finesse using midfielders, two separate matches in La Liga lights. That's pretty cool. Assist four goals in La Liga lights. Win four matches in La Liga lights. Score in 10 separate matches so basically win 10 matches if you're doing golden goal all right and then for jury now did they give him any boost four star three stars kind of dead not a great card honestly what about uh four star two star dude i mean it's a cool card but 
Upgrades wise, a bit of an L. Anyways, learning in Lyon, scored outside of the box in two separate matches. Oh God. Ligue 1 liaisons. Assist three using French players in Ligue 1 liaisons. Win four matches and score in 10 separate. So again, golden goals, you probably pretty much have to win 10, essentially, if you do the golden goals. Uh, year in review, this will just happen relatively organically. Okay, very cool. So let's go look at the uh, SBCs. Anything repeatable? Talent scout winner. Oh! Leveling? He won? This guy won? They're both four-star, four-star? Are you sure? Well, this guy is four-star, three-star. Wait, people are saying that the uh, objective cards are glitch and they're, they're four-star, four-star. Okay, so not that expensive to do, but kind of an absolutely ass card, if I'm completely honest. I don't know. Like, I just don't care. Okay. Mid icon upgrade, future stars reunion player pick. So maybe future stars challenge. So there's the next one. Uh, we'll have a look and see what the requirements are for this. This always booms the price of bronzes and silvers. 70 rated players from same league, max six clubs, minimum four. So again, you'd think main league, main league players, which is nice. So main league silvers, left mid, right mid, center mid, cam, striker, left back, right back, center back, just main league non-rares. The rares it will be up in price too, but I would focus on that, man. Spanish, main nation, sorry. Spanish, Argentina, French, England, Italy, Spain. You're going to be looking at a lot of profit there for sure. So that's nice. I do like that. And uh, I actually didn't really pay attention to what the reward was. Rare gold pack ain't that great, so maybe the prices won't go up super, super a lot. But I think they'll still do well. Okay, so I wouldn't mind having a look at some of these in-games like we did last time just to see- Oh god, I love this team. I miss using- I miss playing FIFA. I do, I'm not gonna lie. But then I watch Net play FIFA and I just realized why I gave up on playing FIFA a month and a half ago. Um. Okay, so let's have a look at Pedri. You guys- I, I really want to look at the big boys first, of course. So... Oh, he's already four star, four star. Oh, five star, four star. Oh, baby, baby. Okay, that is an insane card. That is an insane card. Swaps tokens are in promo packs? No way, man. Dude, what even is this card? High, high work rates? This legitimately now might be the best box to box mid in the game. Bro, that's such a nuts card. I I I really want this card. <laughs> I Tarkov, relax! I'm coming back! Don't worry! Every time at 6 p.m. my Tarkov game is like, hey papa, come back. Please, we miss you. Anyways, that Pedri is insane, man. If you give him an anchor, oh, do you give him an anchor? No, you don't. Give him a hawk. Give him a hawk. He already has great defensive stats, and you really want to boost that long shots and shooting. Give this guy a hawk as a box-to-box -box mid, man. Dude, the dribbling, the passing, the defending in general is crazy. This is one of the coolest future stars boosts I've ever seen. I just wish they all were like this. Some of you guys might disagree, but I wish every single one of the players that got boosts got one like Pedri. Now, a lot of people say, well, Pedri's touted to be one of the best of the, the upcoming talent. I get it. But I just think it'd be cool if EA maximized it. Like, we, we don't know. Maybe Daka will become the, the supreme talent like, you know, everyone thinks that Pedri already is and will become. I just think that's what the promo should be about, personally. But anyways, that Pedri is nuts. What a card. Uh, and then I can only imagine then our new-aged Rude Hullet. I need to get this card. I, I need to get both. I need to get them all. I need to get them all and then just be able to... Oh, my goodness. Okay, so... He's already four star four. Imagine they made him high, high work rates. They wouldn't, they won't have, but yeah, they didn't touch his medium, medium, which is a little bit unfortunate. Honest to God, if this guy got high, high work rates alongside Pedri might be the best box to box mid we've ever seen in the game. Seriously. Anyways, all good. Um, we can just go look at his stats now in terms of, uh, so he's got flare and outside of the foot shot. Jesus, Lord have mercy. What is this card? Hey, man, what is this? It's like a team of the year card. 
So again, I don't know. I I already like his defending and physical. Aggression of 65 might make him feel shit though. I'll say that right now. Your box-to-box -box mids, your midfielders in general, when they have high aggression, they're so good. So I think if you give him an anchor, he gets a plus 10. 75 aggression is still not great at this point in the game, but that's a card and a half, man. Wow. I really, really want that Graven Batch. Man, what, what did we use? Graven Batch is silver all year last year? Was it a silver? Okay, uh, Florian. Let's go look at him. I know Zwei will be excited about this. I, I, I still like my player of the month, Florian Vert, so I can only imagine. So he starts out as... Four star, four star, high medium. This is the this is the German Wesley Schneider. We, last week we got the Spanish Wesley Schneider. This week we got the German Wesley Schneider. Ah, oh, it's too bad. Imagine a five star weak foot on him. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Anyways, all good, all good, all good. Outside of the foot shot trait flare. <sighs> Again, passing and dribbling is so cracked. As a central cam, I'd I'd give him a either a hunter or again a, a hawk. Because I think the strength goes to 71 and aggression goes to 80. Aggression goes to 86 or it might be the other way around. Strength goes to 76. Aggression goes to 81. And then his long shots, shot power, all that stuff shoots up. 90 sprint speed, 99 acceleration. Bro, this card's probably going to be so nice. The, 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 these cards are nutty. Absolutely nutty. Absolutely insane. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Uh, anyone else in particular that looks really good to you guys? I don't know if I want to look at all of them because I kind of want to just rip these packs to try and get a Graven Batch. Anyone specifically? I hey, Look look at my Twitch chat. Everybody wants Tarkov. Look at that. We've successfully shifted over to Tarkov. Everybody wants Tarkov, dude. I can't even be on FIFA for an hour nowadays. Oh, God. Sorry. Wrong wrong scene. Wrong and scene. And we're back in scene. Um, Lacroix. Okay. Are any of the lower end guys looking really good? Like, did they give any weak foot or work rate upgrades or anything? Or, or are the lower rated guys, again, just an L? Oh, my God. This guy's going to be nuts. Okay. So, just, just make him three star, three star or something. Four star weak foot for God's sake! Like what? Anyways, whatever. I'm sure it's still an insane card. Bro, I bet you his gold card plays as good as this 90 rated. There's not enough improved on this card that makes me think you'd feel a, even a difference. Honest to God, if you gave this guy a shadow, I swear you could go in game. And have be blindfolded with a gold shadowed Lacroix or a fucking 90 shadowed Lacroix. I honestly don't think you'd be able to tell a difference. Raspadori? Okay. Who? <laughs> oh, Gil. I want to look at Gil too. Oh, didn't we say this guy was the Italian Schneider? We did, right? Never mind the, uh, oh, mama, he's going to be good. His player of the month looks good. Oh, yes, sir. Never mind. Never mind. Wow. Hey, bro. Insane. What is this? So he's got flair. Holy Jesus. Again, I, every single one of these guys you just give a hawk to. Seriously. Everyone... You give a hawk to. Right? Surely. Or do you give him a... No, you don't give him an engine. An engine is a bit of a waste. Maybe a maestro? Because his agility and balance is cracked. A maestro then boosts other parts of his dribbling. And really boosts his uh, shooting. Either a hawk or a maestro for me on Raspadori. He looks really, really good though. I like that card a lot. Finisher maybe as well? A new rat leader. Um, is he out of packs? No, he's literally in packs, right? Um, 
Oh, Gallagher too. Yeah. Do we now? Can we now see? Is that how you spell his name, Connor Gallagher? No. Is it just G A? Connor Gallagher. Yeah. Wow, I got that wrong. So he starts out three star, two star, and goes to three star, four star, and high high work rates. See, that's sick to me. That's a nice change. Now, would I have liked him to be four star skills maybe as well? But that's still sick. The high, high work rates, you know, as he develops, he develops an even better work rate. Dude, Chelsea, past and present and future? What a card. That's a, such a cool card. If you're, I guess if you're a Crystal Palace or Chelsea fan, maybe. That's that's a cool card. I know a lot of people say he's useless, but I, I just like the upgrade. I really do. Hopefully his dynamic. I, mean, I like Gallagher as well. I was kind of hoping Leeds would try and make a move for him, but I, Chelsea are going to hold on to him, aren't they? I mean, he's such a baller. Such a baller. Anyways, very cool. Very cool. He's everything I thought Todd Cantwell would end up being, honestly. But he actually delivers. Uh, okay. Anything else I missed particularly, boys? Anything else that you want me to have a little gander at? I don't really think so. Daka? Daka looks good. Pats and Daka they actually gave nice boost to. I mean, what? So they give him an 87 winter wild card, and then they release a future star, a plus one? Are EA okay in the brain? I mean, the dynamic is amazing, and the card, I'm sure, is going to be fantastic, too. Yeah, four star, four star, sick. I just, I just... I make him high medium or high low or something. He was a token? No, I understand, but he was still a special card. It doesn't matter how you get him, it's still a special card. Like it just feel like I'm sure there's a bunch of other Leicester players as well that could have even gotten in. But anyways, that's just my thought process. I, I know some people get like up in arms when I talk about stuff like that, but just think it's slightly unoriginal. It will never be enough for Nick. Bro, you are genuinely everything that's wrong with the FIFA community. You hear what I just said there in my discussion, and that's your thought process. Buddy, just so you know, everything that's wrong with FIFA and its community is thanks to people like you. That's just, again, my opinion, but I think someone is needed to tell you that, man. You enjoy your just, you know, lottery simulator, I suppose, man, and just treat EA like the kings that I, apparently you think they are. Frimpong looks eh. There's not really anyone else that uh, that overly excites me, honestly. So I think we're going to rip the uh, peepees and, and try and get a couple of them. These 80 pluses have been okay. I wouldn't say uh, if this was last season that Saka would be a lovely future star. Ziek, oh god. All right, not starting, not starting beautifully right now, unfortunately. Keep the change, Twayzy. Thank you. Ooh, there's never gonna be a day where California secedes from the U.S. Let's be real, King. That's like Quebec has been trying to secede from Canada for the last fifty years. They want to have their shitty poutine to themselves they can have it too if they want but they ain't going anywhere um tom thank you kenny what do you call an american b a usb i don't get it i'm i'm too dumb but thank you for the 25 dollars a month you're a legend sir Ooh, ooh now pulisic thank you appreciate it god bless Check pack store. We will. We will. Uh, I think Zane is harder to pack than Dirty Mike. So we'll go with that. Megan, thank you for the 37 months. Appreciate you. Akuna Matata. Tom, thank you for the five months. Much love. God bless you. Hey, come on, man. Where's my Graven batch? They do look nuts. All the players look good, C-Web. Thank you for the 56, man. I agree with you there. The bottom ones don't particularly interest me, but if the bottom one was a Leeds player, I would have been super hyped. 
Uh, El Nayar, thank you for the big 40, my man. Appreciate you. Much love. Cheeky, thank you for the 19. Remember people were saying Shaw should be in Team of the Year? Remember those people? The Habers of the world? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Ghent, thank you very much, man. Appreciate you. I love you. Red. Thank you, man. I am looking forward to Gran Turismo 7. You got a Fnatic DD Pro GT7 wheel? I have the Logitech uh, Gran Turismo wheel. I mean, it's a year old now, so I, I don't know if it's as great as some of the big boy wheels, but I, either way, I'm super excited, man. Uh, 90, thank you for the 13 months, brother. Appreciate you, man. Shaw can't even lace Trent's shoes. Shaw can't even lace Ailing and Stuart Dallas's boots, let alone getting in Team of the Year, for God's sake. Dude, Shaw wouldn't even get in the Leeds team. And he's supposed to get in the team of the year? <laughs> we have under 18s that Bielsa would pick first. Wait. Baron Torres? Huh? Wait, hold on a second. He's in PAX. His first version is in PAX, right? It's on the front page for F. I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be so mad. Hold on. They're advertising it literally right here. Unless it says he's expired. Loading EA Sports News. Yeah. Yeah, we're waiting for you to delete your false advertisement, EA. Hold on. Crybaby2018 is about to get even more Crybaby. I'm mad. And I'm mad. What is this garbage? It... On Sunday, he's back? Wait, so they released him for a day? Three days? Why is he out of packs? Hold on a second. Oh my god, it actually is gone. Guys, it was there, wasn't it? It was just there. I swear to god, the advertisement for it was just there. Holy moly, it's gone. Sunday to Friday, he was there for? Okay, my fault. My fault then. Absolutely my fault, boys. Sorry about that. I mean, it is still a bit weird, though. What the hell? Okay. He's in the transfers tab? Oh, is he in the transfers tab? Hold on. I, I do want to just confirm that it's 100% my fault. Is he in the transfers tab? Oh, God. We got to wait. Oh! Wait. The first version will be available from Sunday to Friday. I mean, today is Friday, but whatever. Second will be available from Sunday to Friday. I mean, if I'm looking at that, it looks like he's in... I can't believe... Oh, well, it's... I mean, the likelihood that I would pack his actual boosted card has got to be super, super low anyways, right? Okay. My fault. 85 times 10. Everyone should wait till Sunday to open it. I, I, I think that's the smart move. Wait till the extra three players are in there. Just give yourself a better opportunity to pack some of the big dogs. I would. I would for sure. Well, these are basically just fodder picks. <laughs> which is fine. The more uh, mid-icon roulette packs we can do, the better. Which is definitely something we're going to do today. Damn, Graven Batch and Pedri, though, look nuts. Damn it. Wrong Spanish... Barca midfielder, man. Bro, I don't even know what I would do if I hit a Pedri. Everyone would hate it here. I'd be confused. I wouldn't even know what to do with myself. 80 million or 100 million pound paperweight with good haircuts. Armalika's not going to upload today's epi now that I said that about Grealish. Anyway, sorry, sorry. I apologize. Imagine City had bought Kane as well. Dear Lord. No epi today. <laughs> Unlucky. Oh, God. Oh, no. 12 people won't see today's epi. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, what will we ever do? <laughs> what will we ever do? SP is going to be a dupe, right? Yeah. I don't really care about the dupes. I'm probably going to discard them. Man, where are my future stars, bro? What the heck? 
What is this? Ooh. Okay. I immediately forgot about not getting anything good with that 89. I'm trying to look because apparently when you hit a future star, it's a bit of a spoiler. Like, the purple shows up around the card. I haven't seen it once, which obviously, because I haven't packed a future star. But I am looking for it. I don't know what it looks like, and I want to see what it looks like, because I'm sure it's so exciting. The last few times we've hit future stars with these player picks, I wasn't really paying attention. I'm not mad, you're mad. I'm not mad, you're mad. I'm not mad, you're mad. All right, here we go. Last few. Come on. Well, this hasn't gone very well today in terms of future stars pulls. But I would say as well that these player picks just haven't been great in general, have they? Yair, absolute hero. Kind of feel like a fraud not doing his uh, center back card, but oh well. I just would never use him. Really cool card, but I would never use him. The fodder is insane. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the fodder is great. Look at that. It's just, I mean, we, we've completed another mid or prime icon. I mean, I really wanted a Pedri instead of all this riffraff, but that's fine too, dude. It's okay. Backlog can't be amazing all the time. But we're going to try and make it amazing all the time by opening a bunch more. <laughs> so let's do five more minutes of actual packs and then we'll do the uh, mid or prime uh, icon roulette. I think I've got one more of them. Rare Electrum. Let's do, let's do these. Uh, Cairo, thank you for the three. Appreciate you, sir. Oh, okay. Nice. Center mid. Oh, cool. Danilo Perea. Didn't he, honestly didn't even know he had a special card. I'll take that, though. Um, for the time being, we'll keep him. So, let's see. Argentinians? Left mid? Bang. Cash money. There you go. Uh, center forward, though. Don't think he'll be worth much. He'll sell, though. So, I'm definitely going to list him up, but... Probably wasted trade pile space. Though, this guy we don't need. So, we'll get him gone. 450 is 450 is 450. Um, all that stuff we'll keep for the grind. Same thing here. We'll get 800 out of him easy. Don't forget the store token. Yeah, there's there is a uh, swaps token in the store. Where is it here? Is is it in the promo right here? Future Star Foundations pack. What is this? I mean, it's kind of annoying that you have to pay for it, but uh, whatever, we'll do it. I don't even know what I'm what I expect here. What is this? What is this crap? Okay. Oh, damn. Okay, so it could have been a really good pack then. I'm all of a sudden not excited about doing my uh, player pick for 25 tokens. That sucks, dude. Ew. Does that count? No. We'll put that in the title. Oh my god, we pack a new... Uh, future stars! Oh god, YouTube would hate me. YouTube would hate me. The PP's only team one? Wait. No. That has to be BS. The PP's only team one? Wait, is this... Oh, these are untradeable, lol. What? It says it in there? Four future stars in one pack? That's why it sucks even more. Wait, so you can't get, like, Gravenbatch and Pedri? They're the two I want the most. No. Why would they do that? It's stupid. They've kind of ruined it. Wait, really? Well, friends, that is incredibly disappointing, I must have to say. We're keeping it positive as much as possible. Obviously, discussing things I'd I'd like to be better in terms of DACA being a repeat special card is not me being negative. If you think I'm being negative there, you literally are a wet noodle. Brained pleb. But overall, I want to try and keep things positive. But that is disappointing, slightly. Maybe have a look at the tokens. Why? 
¿Por qué? I got Rasperoni from the uh, Lone PP. Well, Rasperoni is a new one, though, right? Okay, a couple more minutes, boys. And then we're going to do the... Uh, and then we're going to do the roulette. I have 21 Future Stars tokens. That max you can have, or did I miss one? I don't know. I feel like you missed one. I think we have a command in the Twitch chat. I just can't remember what it is. The new bundles in the store are great, too. Heck, yeah. Uh, wow. What? Okay. England striker in an off league is always going to have a little bit of value. 21 is the correct amount. There you go. Oh, yeah. I guess US players are all over the world right now. Canadians, too. So you could do it very easily with, with someone like that. W. BPM, boys. If you're still grinding this game and you don't want to spend FIFA points... Get on your BPM grind, man. Zway has seen the light. Um. Ooh. Has Zway started dabbling with the League SBC grind yet, or is he still just degening his brain cells through uh, BPM? 100k off of Silver Commons? Nice. G. Okay. Store taking 12 years to update. No flares with future stars. I saw that, yeah. Eighty-five times ten is insane. I actually don't think I even opened my eighty-five times ten from team of the year, so I I'd like to open it for future stars. Did we open the eighty-five times ten during team of the year? We had a few, didn't we? We'll open these electrums, like the good ones, prime and rare, and then we're gonna uh, do our roulette. It's just an 87 to 86 rated, so nobody cares. Zway still hasn't figured out how to press square instead of X on the bronze packs. Oh my god. That's that sounds like the most Zwayback thing I've ever heard. Oh, he's too used to opening FIFA points. Oh, God bless. God bless Zway. Yeah, because you you uh the the other way you open previews and FIFA points with so guys stuck on the rich man mentality. He's got to get in the poor man brain set. I got Mbappe and Adams for my eighty-five times ten. Nice, dude. GG. Okay, I think we only have a couple more. Yeah, what is it? Three more. Okay, one prime and two electrums. These usually are great packs. Maybe not today, but usually are sick packs. We are getting walkouts, just not future stars. Check this out. Dude. Check your non-rares, man. Oh my god. The amount of money you guys are probably sitting on right now has got to be nuts. Maybe not this guy, though. Yeah. Yep. Give me that. Nep, if he's going if he's still grinding the menus on his RTG, must be getting rich selling off his tradable non-rares, like main league and stuff like that. Even off league. Alright, two more. Come on, rare electrums. Hey Jamie, thank you for the resub, man. Welcome back. Hopefully everything's okay with you and the family. My third fair in Torres, of course. Sunday, Farron Torres will be uh, nowhere to be found. All my silvers are untradeable. Yeah, so that's why I think Nep's style of swapping out the untradeables, discarding them, and keeping tradeables is the move. Because now you'd be sitting on so much money. It's a smart move, it really is. CB... Okay. It's actually not as much as I was thinking for Jedvi. Jedvi? Is it Jedvi or Jedvaj? It's definitely not Jedvaj. That's the most Canadian pronunciation. <laughs> oh, God. It's not Jedvaj, dude. It's got to be Jedvi. Jedvag? Really? No. No. I have at least a thousand silver commons tradable. Bang, bang. There you go. All right, boys. Well... Little bit unlucky. Wait, hold on. 
You think uh, the mid icon pack showed up for us here? Let's check it out. Maybe it did. What the hell? Oh! Oh! Let's do the rule breaker uh, player pack and we'll do the icon pack. Actually open it though. No, 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 uh, no uh, roulette. We're just going to open it. Thank you guys for watching. Fonzie. Fonzie. No. Oh, that's kind of a cool card still, but not at all. Definitely not cool. But kind of cool, but not cool at all. I've got basically every special Ajax player. My cousins would be super hyped. Okay. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys. We're giving away a PlayStation 5 on stream. Um, so jump into the stream. When we're on Tarkov is when it's active. So uh, if you wanted to join us and, and see what it was all about. Look at all this. Oh, baby, 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 baby. Uh, feel free to do so. Twitch.tv, first link in the YouTube description. Jump in, hang out. We're going to be grinding Tarkov all night uh, while letting you guys enter the PlayStation 5 giveaway. So I love you. I appreciate you. Let's see what we finish the day with. Come on. Mitter Prime Holland, baby! I mean, I'll take a Mitter Prime uh, Cruyff, too. Gives us another 3 million coins. <gasps> Zabrata! Prime! 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 No! Oh! The Prime would have been insane! Oh, I'm so annoyed! It's a W, but it's not a W. But it is a W, but it's not a W. Because he's not going to replace Cancelo. He's just not going to replace Cancelo. If that was his prime, I would have sold Cancelo and then Armalika wouldn't have talked to me for three days. But I would have done it. I love you guys. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.